Well, sir, about this uh, Trayvon Martin case, I don't know really what to say about it too much, except uh, a feller was killed, and another feller, uh, well, he's on trial. I only know about the old West. See, the way we used to look at these things, if this Trayvon Martin kid seems like a, well, he smoked marijuana. Well, I guess we rode one back in the day. Didn't call it that, I reckon. But we did what we did. Yeah, I have a drink. Never cared much for this marijuana. Glenn thinks a lot. I never really cared for people that put things in their mouth either. Like this kid. He's got a scary looking grill. That's what the young people call it, uh-huh. Put a grill in his teeth. What's the point of that? Want to look real menacing. That's what I say. Well, kids do scary things. I, I heard they even spiked their hair now. Wear well, collars meant for dogs. Well, people do all sorts of things. Well, back to the case. Well, in my day, mister, the West was simple. A man supposed to love his family and protect his home. And that's why God gave him a rifle and I let him have one because a real man knows how to use a gun. A real man knows what a gun is all about. I reckon like that's what guns are for. But see, there's a twist in this here case and the way we looked at things in the, the old west where men were men and women were women and everybody knew their place. I reckon like in most of my movies I ran across some young fellas that, well, some of them give you a, an awesome uh, steer. Well, well, telephones and Oh, it changed a lot since the early days. I guess, uh, you know, you gotta roll with the punches, I guess, I reckon, like. But anyway, getting back to the case, this young fella, one with the grill, liked to smoke them marijuanas, marijuanas, or I don't know what they call them, just for a drink myself. Looks like um, he was uh, staying with his dad or something. Yeah, in some compound in Florida. Looks like the kid had a menacing look, but a kid is a kid. Heard he was almost a grown man. That's right. But the one that shot him was a man. Well, that's what he said he was. And, um, well, that man... Looks like, um, he calls himself a man or had a gun. Well, it's simple in the old west. Uh, if you got a gun, well, it doesn't make you a man. And, um, well, he didn't take a liking to this young fella for whatever reason. Some people say it was racial. He was stranger. I don't know. But I know, uh, well, according to the law, the law of the West and the law of God. Well, if that fella, that young fella, didn't have a gun too, well, well, there was only one way to look at it. Listen, I'm for any man that want to protect his rights. I'm a right man and I believe in rights for real. But uh, it goes too far when you take the law in your own hands. Well, I've been a law man. And I know the law, and the law is simple. If a kid looks at you with a menacing look, it doesn't mean a thing. You look back. I ran across a few dogs that had menacing looks, and, well, I just don't pet them. If a dog don't wave his tail, that means he's not your friend. So I reckon like the law in this case is simple. One man 
had a gun and a teenager or other fella didn't have one. This is cut and dry to me. The laws are simple. One had a gun and one didn't. I wouldn't want to shake that guy's hand. I wouldn't want to support him. I wouldn't send him a letter. He had a gun. And by golly, he had a choice. Choose to, well, protect his family. But his family wasn't threatened. Just his pride. And, uh, well, I take it if this young fella, this black kid, African American or whatever they call themselves these days, felt threatened, looks to me like he's the one that needed a gun. And, um, because he's the one that, well, he needed protecting. So, if I was this other Zimmerman fella, well, I only got two words for him. Hang him high. Because in the old west, if you shot an unarmed man, an unarmed teen, unarmed anything, and you were armed, well, if a man get the best of you in a fight, a fight that you start, mister, well, then you just have to take those hits and uh, keep your gun at home, son, till you learn how to use one. Well, I reckon that's all I have to say about this case. And uh, I hope you uh, love America as much as I do. Love the Second Amendment as much as I do. But right is more important than them all. Have a good day, partner. God bless. God bless America.